Hey guys, how's it going? October 24th, and I'm going to talk about a movie that I watched a while ago, and uh, as you can see, I'm not even going to worry about finding a trailer or putting on the lights or anything for tonight. I'm exhausted. I just want to get something out there, and unfortunately, I didn't watch another movie the other night, so... And I don't really know what to say a lot about this, but I have this Alfred Hitchcock collection, and in it is Psycho, and so I want to talk about the movie Psycho. I watched it, you know, maybe a year or so ago for the first time in my life, and it really impressed me, and maybe it's a good thing that I waited until later in life to see this movie. Um, in this collection is also Rear Window, Vertigo, North by Northwest, and The Birds. And The Birds is the only other one that I've seen, and I've seen that in the school. I really wanted to watch Vertigo, and I was going to talk about that for the 31 Days of Horror, but then people say, you know, Vertigo is maybe not really a horror movie. Um, somebody said, like, the only two horror movies that he really ever made was Psycho and The Birds. So I know he's made a ton of movies. I know they're all pretty suspenseful kind of movies, but I am glad to own this collection, and I do want to watch the other ones, but I want to talk about Psycho. Um, on the back of here it says Anthony Perkins and Janet Lee star in the shocking classic about an unsuspecting visitor to the Bates Motel who falls prey to one of cinema's most notorious psychopaths, Norman Bates. And, um, I don't remember exactly all the details of the story, but I was really surprised that we all know, if you know anything about the movie at all, you know about the shower scene, you know about Norman Bates and the Bates Motel, but I didn't know that there's this whole beginning story to the movie about a woman, I think it's about a woman who is involved in some kind of business, I don't remember if she's like a secretary or what, but somehow I think that she t gets this idea to take off with the money a bunch of money from like a safe or something, if I remember correctly. And she goes on the run. And um, an interesting thing was about uh, some of the inner dialogue, like you can hear their voices uh, within their heads. And I think that she has some inner dialogue about how she's kind of fearful or whatever about this getting caught or having second thoughts or whatever else. But she ends up pulling into the Bates Motel, and that's basically how we kind of connect them. And I think that, if I remember correctly, that she gets killed. Maybe she's the one that gets killed in the shower scene. And so it's kind of another thing to where we go from like one person who we think is like the main character of the movie at the beginning, and she ends up being like a victim, and then... Um, I think there's detectives that arrive, or one detective, and I think they're kind of like the new main characters. Um, they're looking for her because she had stolen the money. And when we meet Norman Bates, you know, he's a pretty peculiar individual. I don't remember a lot about how. But he has a mother, who we never really see, I don't think, but she's like up in the window... Um, of the mansion or the, or the house that's next to the motel or whatever. And I haven't seen any of the other psychos. I have I've seen a little bit of Bates Motel, the show on Netflix, and I kind of enjoyed that. But this movie was in black and white. And like I said, for Alfred Hitchcock, I've seen The Birds before. I'm not sure that I've really seen anything else by him, but I... I used to watch his special that was kind of like the Twilight Zone. I forget what it was called, but it was basically Alfred Hitchcock's show, whatever it was. It had his name in it. And they were good, uh, a lot of those episodes. But I was really blown away by the direction and the movie, how it looked. Just a lot of the camera angles and stuff, I guess, like the top of the stairs, how there was like a top-down view, I think, when he was like chasing uh, somebody with a knife, killing him, I think. And also just the shower scene in general, when we see like the blood kind of swirl down the drain and and the music that goes with it, you know, not just the me, 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 but there's, there's more music 
that is pretty um, harrowing, I guess. I don't know. It's Is that a word? It sounds <laughs> legitimate. Um, but yeah, the actors are great. But I really just liked how the film looked. And like I said, the inner dialogue and stuff, I didn't expect that, like how masterful the movie is. There's so much more to it than just, uh, you know, a psycho killer. That's what it ends up being about. And then there's, like, the major twist in the end where he's totally loony. And I don't remember, like, if he killed his own mother or what, but, like, he basically took on the role of his mother. Like, he dressed up like her. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's a classic. I'm sure there's tons of reviews all over on this movie. Um, but it definitely deserves everything that, that's said about it. And so, you know, Hitchcock's a little different, so I can get away without having a trailer, without having the lights on right, just the dark background. <laughs> but really, there are movies that I want to watch that I really need to for some of the final... We're going to be down to the final six... So, that's interesting. So I'm hoping tonight, after I get this finished up, I'm going to watch one. I got tomorrow off, so I got some time to get around to actually watching some. But yeah, if you haven't seen Psycho, surprisingly, you know, I know there are people out there who haven't seen it, like me. And you need to watch it if you love horror movies. It's definitely, it's definitely worth a watch. So, that's going to be it. All right. Let's see what's next. Bye-bye.